This is Don Teague in Valonia, Arkansas, where all across this town of 3,500 people, you'll find homes and businesses ripped apart, cars overturned, and stunned residents thankful to be alive. My kids are here. Richard Bass had just finished dinner with his three children when he felt the air pressure change and knew it was time to take cover. He and his family made it into this specially reinforced closet just seconds before the tornado hit. I had them in this arm and I put this foot on the wall and just pulled with everything I had. His home was destroyed, but the family survived. Still, tornadoes killed four in this town, including two who tried to ride out the storm in the detached trailer of a big rig truck. The governor of Arkansas credits early warning with preventing even more loss of life here. Residents on this street say they knew bad weather was coming, and when the tornado hit, the sirens had been wailing for at least 15 minutes. I mean, this was my life, what you see right here. Amanda I Russell had just bought her first home four months ago. Today, there's nothing left of it but four walls and the bathtub that saved her life. I'm just trying to hold it together. I'm a strong person, and I just want to hold it together. The tornadoes that destroyed these homes may have passed, but this part of the country isn't out of the woods yet. Forecasters say there's a high risk of even more tornadoes throughout this region overnight. Don Teague, CBS News, Valonia, Arkansas.